Well, it may be Independence Day here, but it's Election Day in the U.K. tomorrow, and it appears voters are poised to put a pretty dramatic end to the 14-year rule of the country's Conservative Party. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak called for the election back in May, hoping to catch the opposition Labour Party off guard. But now, some polls are even suggesting that the Prime Minister himself may lose his seat in Parliament, becoming the first sitting Prime Minister to do just that. For a look at what's behind the UK's shift to the left, I'm joined now by Tom McTagg. He's political editor of the news website Unheard and author of Betting the House, the inside story of the 2017 election. Tom, it's good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Uh, I'm curious right off the bat, how big a turnover are we potentially talking about here? Well, we're talking about potentially the biggest turnover in British history. Uh, some of the polls today are putting the Conservative Party at potentially the worst result since 1832, the biggest majority, that is, for the Labour Party. So this is historic that we're talking about. Now, that may not come to pass. We should you know, make that clear. But the polls are pretty terrible right now for the Conservative Party. Yeah, politicians in this country will say they're just polls until the, the election happens. It's probably the same there. You know, the conservative Tories have been called the world's most successful political party. So how did they so overwhelmingly fall out of favor if, if these polls are accurate? Well, we've had an extraordinarily tumultuous period, 14 years of conservative rule from 2010 until today. And we've had so many different iterations of the conservative party. It's, try, it's almost like, you know, trying to fit an a Reagan, Bush and Trump into one particular period. And that's what it feels like we've gone through. So we've had David Cameron, who was a liberal conservative who won in 2010 and 2015. And then he resigned after losing the Brexit referendum. He was then replaced by Theresa May, who was a bit of more of an authoritarian kind of conservative figure. She resigned having not enacted Brexit. Boris Johnson comes in. He then resigns during Partygate, as we called it, effectively mm. his own behaviour. And then he's replaced by Liz Truss, who's the shortest serving prime minister in one of the serving, shortest serving prime ministers in our history, lasting 49 days before being replaced by today's prime minister, Rishi Sunak. So all of that tumult really has left the country... Uh, with its head in a spin, to be honest. And, it's, and the Conservative Party is deeply unpopular as a result. Tom, if the polls are right and Labour wins tomorrow, it sounds like they'll have a pretty big mandate uh, if the margins are that big. Do you think they'll be able to satisfy voters' needs and really demands? It's going to be very, very difficult for the Labour Party because the economic situation here is, uh, is difficult. It's, uh, we've, we've got uh, inflation is only just coming under control. Taxes at a 70 year high. People's living standards have been squeezed uh, really quite badly all the way back since 2008, to be honest. And there's not enough money left for the government to spend. So that the fundamental problems are really quite difficult. And then if you have a look what its selling point is, its selling point is a, is a strap line, which is just change. Now, so there's a lot of people that will wrap in their hopes and expectations into that one word, and some of them are bound to be disappointed. All right, Tom McTague, political editor of Unheard. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk it through with us. We will be watching.